ABC has it going, right, okay. Just want to make a quick video. I want to show a few records that I've bought recently, well, over the last month of six weeks or so, um, as well as stuff that I've been listening to recently. But um, yeah, I just want to mention a few videos that I've, I've watched recently um, where people have, or well, VC members have mentioned, have talked about in quite a bit of detail, actually, what's going on in the world at the minute with regards to the coronavirus and the effect that it's having on everybody. Um, yeah, it's nice. I really enjoy those videos. It's nice to see a little bit of real life coming into the VC as opposed to what we normally talk about, which is just I know, records and matrix numbers and whether something's a original or reissue or no drum breaks or whatever, you know. So it's been interesting hearing different, um, different opinions and hearing how the situation is affecting different people, which is, uh, yeah, it's been good. Uh, my situation is a little bit different because uh, I've heard a lot of people talking about obviously they're self-isolating therefore they've got a lot of time on their hands to sit and listen to records and make videos and stuff like that which is cool you know. Uh, my situation is a little bit different because I, I'm not anything important like a, a doctor or a, a nurse or anything like that but uh, I am classed as a key worker so my job is has been pretty much full on so I'm getting a, a little bit of time each day, an hour a day or so like that to uh, listen to a little bit of music and uh, watch VC videos, whatever, but uh, I'm not quite in the same uh, position as a, a lot of people, but yeah, hey-ho, but anyway, I just wanted to, uh, yeah, that's enough for that, I just wanted to show some records, basically, so this is what I'm listening to in the background, this is Love Wars by Womack and Womack, yeah, it's a classic, I'm sure you all know that, so cool, right, so, yeah, so over the last few weeks, my, I've had a, bit, a little bit of a routine to my day in what I'm listening to, so, each day I've been ending my day with this album. This is part of the Spiritual Jazz series on Jazzman Records. This is Volume 9. Uh, volume 9 is a two-part series. This is the first part. And it's all, all spiritual jazz taken from Blue Note releases. Um, I must say, when this originally came out, I wasn't as necessarily excited about this as I had from previous uh, releases in this series. Um, purely because I knew a lot of the music anyway. I own some of it, whereas... You know, other volumes that have come out, everything has been brand new to me. It's just been a total education. But yeah, so this is something my wife actually bought me this um, for my birthday last year. So yeah, nice present. And I've been playing this quite a bit. Actually, I've been listening to the same piece of music every day. So um, the first thing that I've been listening to each night has been uh, a piece of music called Plight by Jackie McLean from his, um, from his action album, 1964, I believe written by Charles Tolliver, an absolutely gorgeous piece of music. I've never heard the album before, so I will be digging that out. But that piece of music is, uh, yeah, that has been the soundtrack to, I think, every evening for the last few uh, last few weeks. So, yeah, lovely stuff. Right. And obviously, being Jazzman as well, the pressings are gorgeous. Right, a few new pickups. This is something that I picked up uh, from eBay a couple of weeks ago. Now, uh, another shout-out to Mellow Mano. I think that's what Mellow Man of 44 is it? Yeah, uh, Lawrence. He's been talking a lot about Gloria Lynn. Now, I've, I've done some noodle drops on some of the uh, records previously, uh, and I certainly did a noodle drop on her, her version of uh, Try a Little Tenderness, which obviously was made famous by Otis. But this is a later recording. This is, um, this is from 1970. This is a UK issue on Mojo. Um, this is a little bit more of a, got more of a funky vibe going on. I'll do a needle drop on this. Her voice isn't great, right? This is quite an interesting one, really, because, you know, you compare, well, certainly to somebody I'm going to talk about in a moment, her voice, you know, technically is nowhere near as good. But the 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 songs that she's presented with here totally suit her voice. So, you know, it's, it is a great record, but, you know, if you're talking about great soul singers, I wouldn't necessarily put her in that bracket, but, uh, but yeah, the material suits her, so it works, so that's good enough, but... This was only cheap. I think I paid six quid for this on eBay. But yeah, lovely record, good stuff. So that's on the, the Mojo label, there you go. Um, this is something that I picked up from Discogs. Um, this is a band called Exit Nine. The album's called Straight Up. Mid-70s funk, mid-70s New York funk. Nine-piece bands. Uh, if I was going to liken them to anyone, it would be that sort of period of Cool and the Gang, that sort of early to mid-70s Cool and the Gang feel. A little bit of a Latin rock vibe in places. But yeah, lovely stuff. A couple of really big funk tunes on this, but to be fair, it's good from start to finish. Um, yeah, this has actually just been reissued, uh, I think end of last year. 
Um, so you can you can get it for about 18, 19 quid at the moment. A, a nice reissued copy. Um, originally, it was only released in the US and in Spain for some reason. And this is a Spanish copy from uh, an original Spanish copy from seventy six. But yeah, lovely stuff, right? And that's on the Zafiro label. Never heard of that. Yeah, I like saying that Zafiro, right? Okay, uh, a couple more um, eBay pickups. So. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of D.D. Bridgewater over the last uh, couple of weeks. I think this is, might be a second or third album. Uh, this is from 1976 on Atlantic Records. Now, this is a nice record, but um, a little bit of a mixed bag. It's got a couple of nice funk tunes on it, um, but it is a little bit more middle of the road. She has a great voice, so a great soul jazz voice, wonderful vocalist. Um, the follow-up to that album, though, which is... An album called Just Family with this another wonderful sleeve. I mean, yeah, both of those wonderful sleeve artwork, a great portrait of her there. And look at that, you know. So she obviously recorded the album when she was pregnant. Uh, but this is 1978, um, produced by Stanley Clark and a killer lineup on here. You've got like Stanley Clark, Chick Corea, um, George Duke, Alfonso Johnson, Harvey Mason, Airto. Yeah, brilliant album. This album's got more of an identity to it, you know. so um as i say this one is a little bit all over the place a little bit i know a bit, 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 bit of a mixed bag a bit show tuny in places a bit middle of the road albeit there were some really nice moments this has got just a really great um jazz funk vibe going on all the way through so i've played this one quite a lot a really uplifting record that one it's really nice and just finally what should i show finally a little bit of curtis mayfield why not you know, if we want a little bit of joy in our lives, why not go with a bit of Curtis? This is, I'm saying that it's a fairly average album, this is uh, called Do It All Night. I bought this uh, from down in Bristol when we had the VC meetup. It's only a fiver. Nice record. Um, not as good as his early to mid 70s records. This is from 77, 78, I think. But yeah, still nice enough. It's that sort of period where disco came about and those classic soul artists from the 60s and early 70s didn't quite know how. To, how to fit in with it and Curtis was one of those unfortunately but a few nice moments all the same anyway take care Sweet love and bad. 